Oh, you gotta turn it on, babe. You gotta turn the gimbal on. How? When Janelle and I first got married, there were some, some trips around the beginning of our marriage that I was going on. Occasionally a trip is like, okay, that's definitely a work trip. There's a few trips I was going on, I was like, it's definitely more fun. And I always told her, if I just kept making great videos on the trips, one day we might be able to go to someplace awesome and I'd get to take her. Yeah, he said Hawaii. One day we'd go to Hawaii and I've been waiting for years. <laughs> We're not going to Hawaii. We're going to the, almost the exact opposite extreme. We're going to New Zealand. Still sleeping. Clouds on the ceiling. Me, I roam the naked streets. The old Turkish fellows are smoking their tobacco. And oh, what a perfume it brings. The first rays of sun. All bags include large electronic devices such as laptops must now be stowed. After a 15 hour flight, we are now here in New Zealand. And I've got a bone to pick with traveling to New Zealand because we've completely skipped over June 3rd. It's now June 4th. We got on the airplane on June 2nd, but I'm never gonna get to live June 3rd, 2018. And I don't know if I was committing to that before I came on this trip. Like, I really like June 3rd. Yeah, what we got going on? Uh, we have a hotel room in downtown Auckland, and <laughs> nice. First morning in New Zealand. Yeah, we're here. How do you feel so far? Yeah, pretty good. We need another coffee later today. <laughs> another coffee might be necessary. <laughs> but so far, so good. Crane two. Normally this is like my go-to heavy duty gimbal, but today we're gonna to be testing the Ronin S. Woo! Ready to go? Ready. So this is our hotel right here. And it's literally just like a couple second walk right down the street from our hosts here this week while we're here in New Zealand. So this here is the Metro Gallery in Auckland. It's uh, New Zealand's first photography focused gallery, and they actually brought us down here this week to explore around. Anything you're excited about here? Uh, yeah, it's wrong. <laughs> gimbal thing. <laughs> Second gimbal thing. <laughs> <laughs> Once we've shot some awesome material here in New Zealand, I'm gonna be doing a workshop kind of right here in this space. <laughs> I look a little yellow. Oh no, that's just how it is. <laughs> this here is the highly anticipated Ronin S. I'm excited to get my hands on it and actually shoot some footage with it today, see if it's any good. But before we go out and try anything, we gotta eat some, we gotta eat some food. You gotta let me vlog you making coffee, Daryl. Me making coffee, <laughs> probably not the best thing in the world. This is Daryl, he's the owner of the Metro Gallery. He's the reason why we're here. It's, it's not a Peter, Peter McKinnon coffee. He makes coffee really well. This looks amazing, Daryl. You gotta turn it on, babe. You gotta turn the gimbal on. The whole thing's blurry. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing's blurry. Janelle's in gimbal training school right now. If I can get her to figure out how to record awesome gimbal shots, then our vlog quality will go up exponentially. That's what I came for the workshop. That's what she's actually attending the workshop. Okay, what is this thing? Uh, 
This is a Segway Mini. So it controls with your knees? Your knees. You don't want to do a test one first? <laughs> I was freaking out. Ah! <laughs> okay, so this configuration here is just simple lens, GH5. Got an Arca Swiss quick release plate in between. I'm gonna bomb around with this kind of setup here and we're, we're heading out right now. We're leaving, are we leaving, Daryl? Yes, we're leaving. I'm still really sleepy. <laughs> So the Ronin S, how is it? First day using it, what's it like? This is obviously just a first impressions kind of video, not a full review. In order for me to do a full review, I'm actually gonna have to use and test the thing for a while. But I love trying to figure out in the first day of using something and throwing your camera on it, can you get results that you like? Can you pass it off to someone who's never even used one before and try to have them get good shots as well? And I haven't watched the footage back, but I'm pretty sure some of the shots Janelle was getting were turning out pretty cool. All around, right at the start of using this thing, it really does feel like DJI has just knocked this one out of the park. They haven't released a handheld single column gimbal like this yet. It seems like in all their waiting, they've kind of taken the best features from other people's handheld gimbals and kind of really made one of the best performing larger camera, smaller gimbals that I've been able to get my hands on yet. Like right out of the gate, I was getting results that I think are really good. Obviously, I'm gonna have to correct myself if I check the footage on the computer and it doesn't look good. But I had a lot of fun shooting with the thing today. So that's gonna wrap up our first full day here in New Zealand. We're pretty tired and I think it's only around like four o'clock their time. We're probably gonna probably gonna put it in here pretty soon. You have a good first day, you know? Oh yeah, so good. I'm so glad we came to the beach. Yeah, we kinda we've kinda got a thing for beaches and waves and rocks and it's good. Hopefully it's not raining the whole time that we're here as it's starting to rain at the end of the first episode. The whole trip could just like go downhill from here and it could just be pouring rain the whole time. That's kind of what the forecast calls for. But either way, we'll, we'll make an amazing trip out of this. And uh, thanks Metro Gallery for, for bringing us down here. We're gonna have some awesome further videos to come. That's gonna be it for this one. Remember. I just better when you make stuff. Peace. This is a little drone hack not many people know of. You just hold your drone in the wind.